Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at completing a table and graphing a rule. So using a rule, completing the table, and then also uh, graphing that, uh, all those points, those values that make that rule work. And then uh, we'll go from there. So this is actually coming from, this is CPM and this is uh, course three, CC3. You see our section 3.1.4 and number 3-37 says complete a table like the one provided in problem 3-4 for the rule y equals x plus 2 and then plot and connect the points on the graph on graph paper be sure to label the axes and include the scale so i've got a table already set, sitting here that's set up so we'll use this table and uh we are our rule is going to be y equals x plus 2. so remember in your table you have uh, the X values and then the corresponding Y values, right? So uh, I'm going to put in for my X. I'm going to um, do the values that um, uh, just to get a, a, a sense of where we're at. So the values I'm going to use here is I'm going to, I tend to always want to have some negatives. So I'm going to go with uh, negative, let's go uh, negative uh, two, negative one, zero, one, and two. Those are good values to use just to get a sense of what this rule looks like on our on our graph paper. So when you when you choose your values for your x, then it's now take those values and plug them into the equation that they want us to uh, plot on graph paper. So this is our rule is y equals x plus two. So for every x value you put into that equation and do the math to find the corresponding y value right so for this one I'll, I'll do the work on the side here so y equals x plus two so in place of x i'm going to put a negative two so i have negative two plus two so what is the y so if y equals putting an x as negative two i get negative two plus two is equal to zero so when when x equals negative two then y equals zero so i put a zero in place so then that is one of, that's a point that I put on my graph, right? So I'm going to graph it and fill the table in at the same time so we can see the correlation. So remember on your graph, on graph paper, you put your axes. If you don't have axes already, you draw your axes. Your vertical axes is your Y axes. The horizontal axes is the X axes. So label those. And then we have to put in our scale, right? In this case, I'm just going to go by ones just to keep it simple. So each one of these, so that's one, that's two, that's three, four, and so on and so forth, right? So those are my X values. My Y values, uh, or and, and I go this direction, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so forth, okay? And then for my Y, my Y, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll go by ones as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. Same going down. So this one right there is negative one. I don't really have space. So I'll skip that, put negative two. So you know that that one up there is negative one. Negative two. And when you when you actually write it, I'll, I'll show you this. You can actually skip other, every other one. Just make sure you're labeling it correctly, right? So I'm going by ones, but I'm only writing the ones that are by twos going down either way. So this zero, negative two, where is that, right? That's the coordinate where y is zero x is negative two so where is x is negative two y is zero that's this point right there that's negative two zero all right so that's the point negative two comma zero it would it would be that that point right negative two zero so let's figure out what happens when i put a negative one in right so y equals x plus two in place of the x i put a negative one so now i have negative one plus two when i add those i get y equals one. So when x equals negative one, y equals one. So I put that in. So at, at x equals negative two, excuse me, negative one, y is positive one. So that goes right here. So that's that point there. And then I'll keep going when I put in zero. So again, you're putting zero into x. So zero plus two is two. So when x equals zero, y equals two. Put in one. When x equals one, 1 plus 2 is 3, y equals 3. So you're putting in those values like I did here. You can do the math on the side or you can look at it and do it mentally. When I put a 2 into x, 2 plus 2, I get a 4. 
So graphing, finish off the graphing for these points. So 0, 2, x is 0, y is 2, right? So that's, and I'll write it here. So that's the, the, the point 0, comma 2. So zero, 0 for x, 2 for y is right here. And then this point here, this is the point y, x is 1, y is 3. So it's 1, comma 3. So where is that? 1, 3 is right here. And then 2, 4 is right here. So if you notice, I have a, a linear pattern, right? So that's the rule. And what we normally do with our linear pattern then is once we see that pattern, we can then connect the dots to show how that pattern continues on. I only chose I only chose uh, from negative 2 to 2 on my x's, but I could still keep going, right? I could put a 3 in here. And if I put a 3 in, 3 plus 2 is 5. I could keep adding values, right? So that's 3, 5, which is here. So, and I could have even further negative values. I could put a negative uh, down here, negative 4. If I put a negative 4 in, if I put a negative 4 into x, I'll get a negative 2 for y. Negative 4, negative 2 is right here. Right. So again, it continues to follow that pattern. So what we do is because that pattern continues, I connect those dots with a solid line to show that this this rule y equals x plus two is this pattern of solutions. And so I, I then label that pat that line y equals x plus two, because that's that line represents all the solutions to this equation that why we graph a line we graph a line to show the solutions to a rule so that line is all the solutions to that rule okay all right there you go